This is part 39 of Bootstrap tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss creating an accordion with arrows. Notice within the accordion here, we've got upward and downward pointing arrows. Now we want to display an upward pointing arrow here, indicating that if we click on it again, the panel body is going to be collapsed. And here, since the panel body is collapsed, we have got a downward pointing arrow indicating that if we click on it again, it's going to expand the panel body. Let's see how to include these arrows. To get the arrows, we are going to make use of glyph icons. So to get the upward pointing arrow, we are going to use this glyph icon and to get the downward pointing arrow, this glyph icon. Now, if you notice where we want these glyph icons, we want them just before the panel heading. So before the panel heading within the HTML, I'm going to include a span element and the class for this is going to be the name of the glyph icon. So the glyph icon that we are going to make use of is glyph icon menu up. So at the moment, the first panel body is already expanded. So when it is already expanded, we want to display an upward pointing arrow indicating that if we click on it again, it's going to collapse the panel body. And to get the upward pointing arrow, this is the glyph icon that we are going to use. On the rest of the panels, since they are collapsed by default on the initial page load, we want to display the downward pointing arrows. So let's make a copy of this pan element and use it on the other panel headings. So this panel is collapsed at the moment, so we want to use menu down. And let's do the same thing on the other panel heading that we have. Let's save our changes. Now when we reload this page, we should get the glyph icons next to the panel headings. But at the moment, look at this. When I collapse it, the icon doesn't change. Okay. They are static at the moment. We want them to be dynamic. If we expand them, you know, we want the arrow to automatically change to upward pointing arrow, indicating that if we click on that, it's going to collapse it. When I collapse it, it should automatically change to a downward pointing arrow. Now let's see how to get that in action. Now we have to write some JavaScript to achieve that. So let's flip to Visual Studio and let's scroll all the way down and write the required jQuery code. So what I'm going to do here is find an element that has got collapse class, okay? And then I am going to handle shown dot bs dot collapse event. So when this event is raised, we want to handle that. So when is this event raised? This event is raised when a panel is completely expanded. So when we expand an accordion panel, that's when the event is raised. Now, if you look at the class that we are looking for, it's collapse class. So if you look at the panel body, for example, if you look at this third panel right here, so notice here, we've got collapse class on this development. Okay, so we are finding this panel body and then we are handling the shown.bs collapse event. So this event is triggered when the panel is expanded. When the panel is expanded, see if it is initially collapsed, we have this image, okay? But when we expand it, we want to remove that image and display this image instead, which is an upward pointing arrow, okay? So to do that, what I'm going to do is use dollar this keyword here. So what is this keyword going to do? This keyword is actually going to return this panel body dev. And then on that, I'm going to call parent function, which is going to return the parent of this development. What is the parent of this development? The parent of this development is the panel itself. Okay. So within this panel, I'm going to find, you know, an element that has got this class glyph icon menu down. Okay. To do that, we are going to use find method. So find the elements that have got this class because when the panel is collapsed, what is the class you know that we are using to display that downward pointing arrow? Glyph icon menu down. So we are going to find this span element using the jQuery class selector 
and then what we want to do we want to remove that class so remove class and instead of downward pointing arrow when the panel is expanded we want to display an upward pointing arrow so let's use add class method and instead of menu down class we use menu up class okay so let's save our changes reload our page and at this point look at this when we expand this initially it is downward pointing arrow when I click on this one look at that the panel expands and look at what happened to the icon it changed it to an upward pointing arrow the same thing is going to happen with this as well but now if I collapse this look at that it doesn't change to a downward pointing arrow because we haven't handled that event so let's go ahead and handle that event as well because when we expand it we want to change the icon to a downward pointing arrow to do that we are going to handle let me actually make a copy of this one we are going to handle hidden.bs.collapse so when is this event is raised this event is raised when you know the panel is completely hidden from the user so at that point we want to remove the up icon I mean find the element with menu up class and then remove that class and add down class so let's save our changes reload our page notice that at the moment the panel is expanded it's displaying an upward pointing arrow if I click on that it collapses and it displays a downward pointing arrow look at that all the three panels work as expected now let's see how to display plus and minus signs instead of upward and downward pointing arrows to display the plus and minus signs we are going to use the respective glyph icons so instead of up and down arrows we want plus sign and minus sign look at the names of the classes glyph icon plus sign glyph icon minus sign so first let's go ahead and replace these classes so instead of glyph icon menu up we are going to use glyph icon minus sign and here instead of glyph icon menu down we are going to use glyph icon plus sign and finally here as well instead of glyph icon menu down we are going to use glyph icon plus sign and we need to change this jQuery code as well so find the element with glyph icon plus sign and remove glyph icon plus sign class and add glyph icon minus sign class and here we have to do the opposite so we want to find an element with class glyph icon minus sign remove that class and add glyph icon plus sign class let's say our changes reload our page and look at that initially when the panel is expanded we have got the minus sign if I click on that the panel collapses and we have got a plus sign notice all the panels work as expected finally let's see how to include you know these buttons here expand all and collapse all these buttons are going to expand all the accordion panels at once and close them at once let's see how to achieve this the first thing that we want to do here is include these two buttons if you notice these buttons are inside a well so let's create a well first to create a well we create a div element with class well and inside this well let's create a button element and use btn and btn primary classes let's also give this button an ID let's call this btn expand all and the text on the button is going to be expand all let's make a copy of this button and change the ID to btn collapse all and let's also change the text to collapse all let's save our changes and when we reload our page notice we get expand all and collapse all buttons at the moment when we click these buttons nothing is going to happen when we click expand all button we want to expand all the accordion panels at once 
on the click of that button. Similarly, when we click this Collapse All button, we want the panels to be collapsed all at once. So we have to write some jQuery code to achieve that. So let's flip to Visual Studio. And if you look at the ID of this button, it is BTN Expand All. So let's copy the ID and scroll down to the jQuery code section. We are going to make use of the jQuery ID selector, which is hash. And then we are going to hook up click event handler with the button. So when the click event is raised, we want to handle that. And what do we want to do when we click the expand all button? We want to expand all accordion panels. Now, if you look at these panels, notice all three of them are collapsed. Now, when the panels are collapsed, what are the classes applied? When the panels are collapsed, you know, these two are the classes that are applied, panel collapse and collapse. So what we are going to do within the click event handler is find all those elements. So here we are going to use jQuery class selector, which is dot. Find all the elements that have got these two classes, panel collapse and collapse. And then what we are going to do is call collapse function and to that we are going to pass the string show which is going to expand all those panels. Let's save our changes and reload our page. Look at that. Let's collapse this. Now when we click expand all, look at that. All the panels are expanded. Now when we click collapse all, nothing is going to happen because we haven't written the code yet. So when we click collapse all button. So the ID of collapse all button is collapse all. So when we click that button, then what we want to do, we want to collapse all the expanded panels. Now, if you look at the expanded panels, there are three classes that are applied. So we have got, for example, if you look at this first panel right here, this panel on the initial page load, it is expanded. So when it's expanded, these are the three classes that are applied, panel collapse, collapse and in. Okay. So what we want to do is when we click on the collapse button, we want to find all those elements that have got these three classes and then call collapse function on them, passing in hide as the parameter value. Let's see our changes, reload our page. Look at that. When we click expand all, all the panels are expanded. When we click collapse all, all of them are collapsed. Thank you for listening and have a great day.